Hi everyone, I am Diana Murray with ASAP Accounting and Payroll Services, and I will be presenting today's webinar on integrating paperless into your business. Today we're going to provide you with some insight into ASAP's paperless build management system. This webinar will also be recorded and posted on our website, www.businessasap.com. Let's start off today's webinar by looking at some startling statistics about paper use. Did you know that 10 per year are used by a single office worker? And that 95% of this paper will eventually be thrown away or unrecycled? It's projected that Americans will throw away over 4.5 million tons of paper in this decade. I'd like to now introduce how you can start your journey towards a paperless office. ASAP's Bill.com is a paperless bill management and online bill payment service that simplifies the way companies process, approve, and pay bills. ASAP's Bill.com helps companies shift from a time-consuming paper-based system to an integrated paper-less system for easy management of everyday accounting. To put it simply, bills are received into the system, they are then coded and routed for approval, and finally the appropriate user schedules the bill for payment, all with a simplified, secure workflow process, giving users access to information that is only relevant to their job description. Now let's take a look at the live program. When logging in, users are directed to their individual home page featuring a calendar view that enables you to see your company's daily cash position, past, present, and future, helping you better plan, predict, and manage your business finances. The to-do list specifically points out the outstanding items that needs attention for the specific user that is currently logged in. Other items on the home page include quick links to tutorials and a launch pad with quick access to vendor information and access to popular areas in the system. Now let's talk about the bill lifecycle. Bills can be entered into the system via one of three convenient methods, email, fax, or via direct upload from your computer. Each ASAP Bill.com client is given a custom email and a custom fax number. This information can then be relayed to your vendors for an automated bill input process. Regardless of whether your documents are faxed or emailed, ASAP's Bill.com will digitize them in a PDF format. Please note that the system can also accommodate a stack of bills. In other words, you can scan, upload, or fax in a stack of documents, and the system will retrieve them as one file in the inbox. You will then be prompted to review and tag each individual page. Now I'd like to take you through the whole process of receiving bills, coding bills, and then routing them for approval. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have already emailed a bill into my custom ASAP bill.com email address. Before we go to the inbox, I want to point out to you that you can also upload bills directly from your home page. Simply click on Browse to find the file on your computer. Select the appropriate document from your workstation, hit Open, and then hit Upload. The system automatically redirects me to my inbox, which is also located on the second tab of our menu options. Here we are also given the option to upload bills directly into our inbox. But more importantly, below we can see the file that we have uploaded is processing in the, into the system. 
and we can also see other items that are in our inbox currently. Your first step in the bill payables process will be to assign each document as a bill so that the system will recognize it and move it through the workflow process. So let's take a look at one of these bills in our inbox. Mouse over the thumbnail image of the file to display the image in full, or simply double-click to begin. You tag the document as a bill, as opposed to another type of document, such as a vendor contract, a vendor document, a company document, a vendor credit, or a page to an existing bill. For this purpose, I'm going to select New Bill. It will now prompt me to enter in the bill details. I can begin by selecting the vendor name from my drop-down list, or I can also simply begin typing. Similar to QuickBooks, the system will automatically remember any fields that were populated for the last time you coded this bill. The invoice number is typically found on the invoice. In this case, it's the PO number. You will want to confirm the payment terms that have been set up. In this case, it's net 30. And the invoice date, which is 8-1. You'll notice it automatically populates the due date based on the terms selected. The amount of the bill, if desired, you can main split your bill similarly to how you would itemize a bill in QuickBooks. I can select the chart of accounts item from the drop-down list, which is synchronized with my QuickBooks chart of accounts, or I can simply begin typing to easily find my chart of account. Type in the amount I want to split it to, and if I'm job costing, tie it to an appropriate job. I can put in a description for each line item, similar to the memo field, and I can also describe the bill in whole. You can assign all or portions of a bill to one or more approvers. And since we've used this vendor before, the system has remembered the last approver that approved this particular vendor in the past. So I can choose to add approvers to this bill or use the last approver assigned to this vendor. Simply hit Next and we will now be asked to assign the set of approvers. Since I have multiple line items or splits on this particular bill, it's asking me if I would like one set of approvers or a multiple set of approvers. In this case, I'm going to select one. Confirming I've entered the bill correctly, I can now select a user from the drop-down list, or I can add a new approver. I can add any notes to the approvers for them to consider when reviewing this bill. Save, and the bill will now automatically move through the workflow process you configured during your setup. Approvers will be notified automatically when a bill is ready for their review by email.
bill payers will also be notified when the bill is ready to be paid. For demonstration purposes today, I selected myself as an approver to show you how I could approve and review a bill. So let's go back to my home screen as this particular user. You will notice on my home screen, I have a new to-do list item to approve one bill that has been assigned to me. By simply clicking on the review icon, I will be directed to review this bill. I can then look at the summary information and approve directly from this screen, or I can review the actual source document. Confirm that the splits are correct and that they've selected the appropriate jobs, and approve, deny, or add more approvers to this bill. Now let's review what we've done. We've talked about how bills are entered or received into the system via the client's custom email bill.com address or the custom fax number or uploaded directly from your workstation. We've talked about how to code and route the bill for approval. And now let's talk about how to schedule and pay your bills. Once you've processed your bills and gained all the requisite approvals, you can initiate payments via ASAP bill.com system. The bill payer uses the pay bills function to pay bills that are due. When we come to this screen, we'll notice they are sorted by approval status, any to override any approvers that have not approved their bills. You'll notice on this screen, it's summarizing the bill information with quick links to the vendor information and the actual invoice, the due date of the invoice, the approval status, the bill amount, the amount you'd like to pay, and the process date. The process date allows you to easily schedule future payments to be made out of the system. For example, if you were going on vacation and wanted to schedule your payments to be initiated while you were on vacation, you could do that here. A nice tool that the system provides, it will also tell you based on your process date when your check should arrive. So if I were to change this process date, I can see it changes the arrival date. When you pay your vendors using ASAP's bill.com system, you have the following payment options. E-payment. If your vendor received an e-payment, the system will transmit remittance information such as vendor account number and invoice number, both via email and on the vendor's bank statement. Check payments. If your vendor received a check payment from bill.com, the check stub will include an image of the first page of the invoice. On the process date, ASAP's bill.com withdraws the necessary funds from your business bank account and initiates payments. After confirming the funds transfer on the process date, ASAP's bill.com withdraws the necessary funds from your bank account and after confirming the funds transfer was successful, the system sends the payment directly to the vendor via check or electronically via e-payment for the amount specified along with the remittance information. Again, when sending a check payment to the vendor, the system will also send a copy of the first page of the invoice. When sending a payment electronically, the system transmits your account number and the appropriate invoice number to the vendor. If you don't want to use the system to pay some or all of your bills, you can still use the ASAP Paperless Bill Management System to record, monitor, and manage your payables process. For example, as we can see here, we can select Record as Paid or Print in QuickBooks. 
So let's say I want to pay the remainder of this partially paid bill. Well first, before we do that, let's take a look at some notes that one of the approvers has left for me. On 4-1-2010, on, I'm sorry, on 4-23-2010, the appropriate approver asked to only pay $100. We can see here that we have made that $100 previous payment and now we are electing to pay the remainder of the bill. We can simply select and we are going to record as paid or print in QuickBooks. We are now directed to a screen that will ask you to sync with the appropriate payment account in QuickBooks or enter in a reference number if you were handwriting a check. Select the appropriate account. If I were to select check to be printed, when I synchronize with my QuickBooks system, it will automatically show up in the print process. Or I can enter a check or reference number if I have handwritten the check. any memo fields and simply hit save. The system is fully integrated with QuickBooks with a built-in plugin that enables you to easily synchronize information between the two applications. Your QuickBooks company file will automatically be updated with the latest payables transactions additional chart of accounts, and additional members you may have added in ASAP's bill.com. This information is always kept in sync. Keeping both applications current will help you manage your client workload more accurately and efficiently. It can also reduce the confusion that could arise from double or conflicting entries. A variety of features were not presented in today's webinar due to time, but will be covered in a follow-up to this presentation. The topics that were not covered include the following. Synchronizing with QuickBooks and viewing source documents from within QuickBooks. Streamlining bill input. E-payment setup. electronic document storage, including company documents, HR documents, and more, company customization, including security and workflow options, and some frequently asked questions, including how to manage credit card receipts and statements. As mentioned, these topics will be covered in an upcoming webinar. ASAP and I would like to thank you for your participation today. If you would like to schedule a demonstration or would like additional information on ASAP's paperless bill management system, please contact ASAP Accounting and Payroll Services. We can be reached online at www.businessasap.com and via email at asap at businessasap.com. You can also view all of our recorded webinars, access educational information and white papers, and view demonstrations on our website. Thanks again for joining us and have a great day.